Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Mark's the Comics. This time I wanted to do a kind of like um just a quick response in, in terms of the video I did about a month ago for the Squatchy Box. Um, so I've gotten some I don't know um, some comments recently on the video about you know me, just me not knowing more about the box. So I just want to you know explain a little bit about my thoughts on that so uh, if you're not interested in this whatsoever then you know you can just skip this video um, but for the people who are interested you know I appreciate you guys watching this so um, I did the Squatchy box um, unboxing about a month ago the reason I bought the box in general is because I thought the artwork was amazing um, I never previously knew about the Squatchy mystery boxes. Um, it wasn't until I was on Dave's channel, Comic Foo. Um, after we did a comic, I was invited onto the channel, did a Comic Vantage unboxing, got some cool books, got to hang out with Dave, Stevie B, and Wes Squatchy. Talked to them a little bit after the show. All really cool guys. And then uh, that's when he mentioned you know purchasing a squatchy box so i was like all right we talked a little bit about it i didn't know too much about the box i knew that there was uh each box contained one custom sketch by wes and you know there was going to be a bunch of books thrown in there i think six seven books some stickers um there was some chase books in there as well some cool books that i thought were worth going after and it was to my knowledge that there was going to be a key or two thrown into the box um so that caught my interest and i was like okay for 150 i'll take the gamble and um i'll see what i get you know it, it was apparently my misunderstanding that um that there were not keys guaranteed in the box which is fine um i thought that's what wes said when we were off stage i didn't really you know like I said, I didn't know too much about the boxes. I thought I had asked enough information, but clearly that was not the case when I got the comments down below. Um, so that's on me. That's my responsibility to get as much details on a box as possible. You know, I'm not here to to bash Squashy, you know, Wet West on what he does because um, he does provide, you know, a great aspect of mystery boxes and doing custom sketches and throwing them in there and when I did the unboxing did I put a clickbaity you know thumbnail on there sure you know I'll, I'll admit to that that's fine but who, who hasn't done uh, clickbaity you know thumbnails from time to time um, I simply wrote on there you know worst mystery box I have ever opened question mark you know I never once said in my in my video that this was the wet the worst mystery box ever um, I just want to be crystal clear on that I never uh, bashed the squatchy box I uh, always try to keep as transparent as possible when I do any unboxings whether it's I go hunting I pick up some books prices I pay for because what I do, you know, when I collect in this hobby, I buy books, books that are interested in my, you know, that I'm interested in. And uh, if it's books I'm not interested in when I get like in mystery boxes, I have to offload them uh, because I have to get my value. And I'm not the only person that does that. There's tons of people who do mystery boxes. And uh, that's the fun of mystery boxes. You, you buy books in hopes of getting, you know, some books for the PC. And if you win, one of the prizes that's great you know you get even bonus um to my knowledge like i said i did not know that the sketches he provides you know covers the price of the box that's on me i did not know that um like i said if i knew going into it like i said being fully transparent uh, transparent here if I knew going into it that he charges normally $150 for 
a commission, well, why wouldn't I just commission him to, say, do a Moon Knight sketch? Because that was one of the sketches in there. Um, and that's why, going into it, I thought that there'd be a key thrown in there or something to help accumulate the value of the box in case I didn't get a sketch that I was interested in. Because if I got a random sketch that I didn't like, I'd have to sell it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, because it's not something I'm interested in. And that's, like I said, a lot of people do that with their mystery boxes. And, um, you know, there was recently a big mystery box on the Journey into Mystery 777 mystery boxes that a ton of community, mem uh, community members bashed because the values weren't there. There was obviously a big misunderstanding from the seller. And, uh, you know, that's not cool. Um, I wasn't a big fan of seeing, you know, some of these videos where people were bashing this guy. And I never did that. I never, I just brought that up as a random example. Don't take that out on those videos or that person. Just brought up a random example. But um, I would never personally bash a person's mystery box because it's not fair to the person for all that work that Squatchy did. So this is not an attack on Squatchy. This is just further explanation and clarification on the mystery box. And hopefully after this video is up, this kind of ends the whole, you know, nonsense that I've been getting in the background. Um, and uh, like I said, hopefully this clarifies any misconceptions and misunderstandings from both my end and and the other people who watch this or comment down below. Um, that's why when I first did the unboxing and I was kind of confused on what I was opening because I didn't think the value was there. And that was based off of what the books were provided <clears throat> and the sketch. Um, like I said, the sketch was amazing, not taking anything away from Squatchy. So based off what I got in the box, I thought maybe it was... Uh, 50 to $75 box. That's why I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, because the books he threw in there, yeah, they're obviously personal to him. I don't, I didn't know that. Um, I didn't watch a lot of the videos prior to the boxes, so I wouldn't know, you know, and I did read some of them. They were actually pretty good reads, but from a mystery box, when it comes to you have to resell some of the books you don't want, the value wasn't there. So that's, that's why I, I asked the, you know, that you'll write some comments down below. Um, hopefully that ends this whole, you know, uh, thing on the mystery box unboxing for the Squatchy box. Um, I'm not going to, you know, continue to talk further about this because I think I've kind of hit the nail on the bed here, on the head, on the, uh, the whole conversation. So um, that's that. All right, guys. Out.